Edward, what first attracted you to this project? I mean, I think the opportunity to tell a story about very interesting characters in the midst of, of an action movie was a, was, was a good opportunity to do something new. Was it difficult to make a sequel when you had no control over the first installment? Yeah, I mean, it set an interesting puzzle, which is to say, here's the character, and how did, what direction did I want to take it in? So, yeah, it was, but, but I think there was ample room to grow. It's also been described as a feminist action film. Uh, is that something you wanted to emphasize? Yeah, I think it's a very interesting moment, moment particularly in American culture, uh, to present strong female uh, characters. I think uh, we're in the midst of a, of a very interesting political moment in which that uh, role is being questioned as well. So I like to put that image out there. And what's the main message beyond the action? The message is about a man with a code, and, and, and he has to live by it. Expected, it's about the rigor of doing it every day and getting beat up. I mean, I would often see the bruises the next day, but they would never stop. And so then they, they just really committed themselves. So it's, Tom took a lot of blows yeah. in this film. Yeah, so did Kobe. Kobe. And so did Kobe. You've worked with Tom before, haven't you, back in 2003? Yeah. Like, How's your experience working with, him, uh, working with him now compared to that? You know, do you feel like you've both grown in those years? He is every bit as energetic and as determined and as much fun as he was. So actually, I feel as if we sort of picked up right away where we were. They, 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 all, they all read the novels. They wanted to have background on their characters, as, as any good actor would.